All right then, gang. So in this lesson, what I'd like to focus on is trying to delete books from the list when we click on these buttons right here. So then to delete something from the data on the server from that book array, we need to send another network request. And this time it needs to be a delete request that we send. So then from an HTMX perspective, the only real thing we need to do is add an attribute called hx delete to an element which can trigger that request. Now we already have a delete button in the book template which we can use for this. So let's open up that file and add the attribute in. And much like the hx get and hx post attributes, hx delete also needs a URL that it can send the request to. In our case, that's gonna be forward slash books, forward slash, and then the ID of whatever book that we want to delete. Now, fortunately, we have access to that ID because in each book object, there is um, an ID property. And remember, we get that book as an argument in this function. So then after this forward slash, we can just tack on a bit of dynamic content, which is the book ID. And that's going to be unique for each book that we make this template for. All right, cool. So now we can make a handler function for this request on the back end. So in the app.js file below all the other route handlers, we can add a new one by saying app.delete to respond to a delete request. Now the route is going to be forward slash books, forward slash, and then a colon, and then ID at the end of that. Now the colon before the ID just means that this ID part of the route is dynamic. It can be many different values. For example, it could be one or two or something else, depending on what book we're trying to delete, right? And that is called a route parameter this little bit. And then we also need a handler function as the second argument, which takes in two arguments itself, the request object and also the response object. All right then. So now inside this function, we want to do a couple of things, right? First, we need to extract the ID of the book we want to delete from the route. So we want this route parameter value right here. And second, we want to use the ID to find the right book in the data and then delete it. So then let's start this by saying const ID is equal to request dot params. And this is how we access route parameters in express apps. We say request dot params and then whatever the route parameter is called in our case, that's ID. So we'd say dot ID at the end of it to access that route parameter. All right. So next up, we want to delete the book with this ID from the book's data. So to do that, we first of all need to find the index of the book in the array. And we can do that by saying const IDX, we'll call this for index, is equal to books underscore data. And then we use a method on that called find index and invoke it. And this method fires a function, which we pass in as an argument to this for each value in the array in turn. And we get access to the item as an argument for each iteration. Now I'm going to call that B for book. Now, if this function returns true, then this whole find index method stops in its tracks and it returns the index of that value to us in the array. So we want to return true when this ID from the wrap parameter matches the ID inside here, this function. Okay. So let's say B dot ID is triple equal to the ID from the routes. And then when that's true, that means the books match the IDs match, right? And that's the book we want the index for. All right, so that gets us the index of the book that we want to remove from the array. Now we just need to actually remove it. And to do that, we'll use the splice method. So we can say books underscore data again, and then dot splice and invoke it. And we can pass in the index then that we just got. And then as a second argument, just a one. And what this does is find the value in the array at this index right here that we pass in. And it removes that one single value. And it's only one because we specified one right here. Okay, cool. So now we've deleted the book. Now, currently we're not sending back a response. And remember, HTMX wants us to send back an HTML response. However, we can also send an empty response just by saying response.send and not passing any HTML to actually respond with. And what this does is pretty much exactly the same as if we'd send back some HTML. It replaces whatever the target is in the current HTML in the browser but this time, not with some other HTML template that we send back, but just with nothing. So in other words, it essentially deletes the target element in the browser. Now, remember, by default, the target element is the one which triggers the request in the first place. And that's going to be the delete button. 
and by default the swap strategy is set to inner html and that means if we try this out now as it is it would essentially replace the inner html of the button with nothing so it would just remove the text inside the button i'm just going to verify that by trying this in a browser all right so we have these two books and i'm going to try deleting this second one over here press delete and yeah the book is still there this content hasn't gone away but we've deleted the contents of the button. Now, you might think, well, we just deleted that button from the array, and we have. However, we've not updated the content in the browser. Well, we have, but we've not updated it in such a way that the book gets deleted here. We've only deleted this thing instead. If we refresh now, we see that the book has been deleted, okay? So we need to sort it then so that when we click on delete, it doesn't just get rid of the content inside this button, but instead it gets rid of the whole book Okay then, so we need to specify a different target for the response HTML. So to do that, we'll just say hx hyphen target and we set that equal to something. Now what's gonna be the target? Well, it needs to be the whole li that gets deleted from the list, right? So we can say here, closest li. And remember when we say closest, it works its way up the DOM to find the nearest element that matches this nearest li. So it will be this parent li that gets deleted now. All right, now currently as well, remember the swap strategy is set to inner HTML by default, and that means, well, just delete them, the contents, the inner HTML of the LI and not the LI itself. Well, we don't want that to happen. We want the whole thing to be deleted. So we need to change that by saying HX swap and then setting that equal to outer HTML instead. And then this will delete not only the inner HTML, but the entire element itself. So let's save that and preview. All right then, so fingers crossed, let's delete this. And yep, the whole thing goes. If we refresh, it's still gone. I'm gonna try adding a new one and then deleting that again. Yep, all working, awesome.